It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Hell, yes, all that. Yes, yes. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yes. Yes. Now it's time to go party. Show them what I'm working with. This is Love Hurts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content. 20-year-old India Mackey was beautiful, fun-loving, and joyful. She was extremely caring and willing to help anyone who needed a helping hand. She was the type that always had a smile on her face. Me and old man. Me and old man. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Sitting at work, not doing nothing. Not doing yeah. Just sitting on the floor. Hey, you Granny. Did you find me some more hot chew? Man! You ain't got no more hot chew for me, man. I wanted some more candy. She loved acting, she loved singing, and she loved spending time with family. And like most young adults her age, she also enjoyed spending time with friends. India was in a relationship with 18-year-old Kevin Dixon. The two had been together for about a year. In the beginning, things were great. They loved spending time together and they seemed like such a great match. But at some point in time during the relationship, India began to feel unappreciated and the two began to argue constantly. India wasn't shy about how she was feeling either. She would often post cryptic messages on Facebook. In one post she wrote, Tony Braxton was on to something when she made that song, Just Be a Man About It. In another post she talks about just needing to get out of town for a while. She felt trapped in her relationship. She was over it and on her way out the door. She knew she deserved better. On the evening of November 19th, 2019, just one day after India's 20th birthday, she got into a heated argument with Kevin. The two were sitting in her car outside of Kevin's home. India began to film the argument, and what she captured on video and what happened after she stopped recording is just sickening. In the video, Kevin can be heard telling her, You think I'm playing, huh? These big four or five hollow tips gonna eat you up while he wipes his fingerprints off the bullets and loads his weapon. Shortly after India stops filming, Kevin shoots her to death. He then moves her body from the driver's seat to the passenger seat and speeds off. He is captured a short time later with India's lifeless body still sitting on the passenger side of her vehicle. This is so disgusting and inhumane. Absolutely unbelievable. Tonight, chilling video taken by a 20-year-old woman who was murdered just moments later. Her 18-year-old boyfriend accused of pulling the trigger that ended her life. It's the sixth domestic violence homicide in Macomb County in the past two months. 7 Action's reporter Andra Isom joins us live with more on this story and what the prosecutor is saying about this tragic case. Andrea? You know, guys, we've all been doing this job for a very long time. We've seen a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Law enforcement, they are frustrated, they're alarmed, and we all should be. You know, everything about this case is awful, and, and, and this certainly just adds to it. The idea that he's pulling the bullet out, wiping his fingerprints off, showing it to her. And it shields you to the bone, says Macomb County Prosecuting Attorney Eric Smith, and I agree. The last thing her family has of her is the video where she is pointing the camera at the man who's going to kill her. But after he shoots her, gets out of his car, pushes her over into the passenger seat, and takes off driving in the car. Smith says India was shot inside a van outside of this home on Shirley Street in Warren. But according to cops, Dixon's criminal behavior did not end there. East Point PD gets all these calls about a white van that's, that's driving erratically over the road. They stop the car, and they find her dead in the passenger seat. Dixon was arrested and is now facing first degree murder, carrying a concealed weapon and felony firearm charges. Dixon's bond was denied, so he sits behind bars. But that is not all that went down in court. We charge his mother as well. He takes his girlfriend's phone, the, the, this poor woman that was shot, and calls his mother on the phone and says, Mom, go to the house and get the gun. So we charge with accessory after effect and tampering with evidence. In Macomb County alone, in just the last couple of months, law enforcement has seen six domestic violence homicides. It's sad, startling, and alarming. 
if you think you are in danger, mm -hmm. please get yourself to safety. Call the national hotline, call Turning Point. There, right. are, there are options available to get you out of your situation to protect yourselves. And we do this all the time, and I'm, I'm so happy to be able to at least you know, use this to tell other people. Yeah. Maybe it saves somebody. Let's pray that it does save some lives. There will be a vigil tonight in memory of sweet little India at 8 o'clock. We'll put all the information on our website, WXYZ.com. Just a sad, sad story, you guys. Back to you. Two major developments tonight in the homicide investigation of 22-year-old India Mackey. Macomb County prosecutors confirm Mackey's body was found inside the car of the man now charged with her murder. The second twist happened just outside the courtroom where that suspect was formally charged this afternoon and local four cameras were rolling. Victor Williams is following both angles tonight. 18 year old Kevin Dixon faced a judge today in connection to the death of his 20 year old girlfriend, India Mackey, with new details coming out that are very disturbing. But while he was inside getting arraigned, there was actually action taking place on the outside of the courtroom. Chaos out in the lobby of the Macomb County Courthouse says the mother of Kevin Dixon was taken into custody, accused of being an accomplice in the murder of her son's girlfriend, India Mackey. Your Honor, for Mr. Dixon, we are requesting following charges, homicide, murder, first degree, weapons, felony fire, and weapons carrying concealed. Victor, I'm wondering, do we know why police believe Dixon's mother was an accomplice to this? Police tell me that when Dixon was in the back of the police car, he actually made a phone call to his mother telling her to get rid of all the evidence, including the gun that was used to kill this poor young girl. Leave it, just awful. Okay, Victor. Several words of prayer were shared this evening at Saginaw High School during the vigil of 20-year-old India Mackey from Saginaw. According to authorities, Mackey was shot and killed last week by her boyfriend, 18-year-old Kevin Dixon, after she recorded him loading bullets into a handgun and threatening to shoot her. All of this just after her 20th birthday. Nothing's too small. But in Mackey's honor, the community came together here at the high school where she graduated to mourn and reminisce on her life. I thank God for the people, the love that's being shown. That's Mackey's mother, Sabrina, who says she was overwhelmed by all the support shown here today and hopes it raises awareness for an even bigger issue surrounding domestic violence. From here, Pontiac, all over, to come together, you know, to help with this domestic violence situation because it, it needs to stop. This love. So when we get together, when we're killing each other, let's get together and stop that like this. A message reiterated by Mackey's father, Joseph Polk, pleading for those suffering from domestic abuse to speak up and go to someone rather than facing it alone. You know, let your fathers protect you. Let your uncles, your brothers, you know, let the community protect you. Go to somebody. Tell somebody. Somebody will help you. Because they don't want to see this, they don't want to see this ending. And today's event here at the high school was organized by India's older sister, Isis, who tells me that while her sister was loved in the community, she never expected a turnout quite like this. It made me feel very happy. You know, I know she was very loved, but to see everybody come together like this, it just means a lot. On March 1st of 2022, Kevin Dixon accepts a plea deal. He's sentenced to 20 to 35 years in prison. Kevin Dixon's mom pleads no contest to improper possession of a firearm, which is a misdemeanor. She is immediately sentenced to no jail time and no probation. This case is just absolutely heart-wrenching. Such a senseless loss. India didn't deserve to die this way. My heart truly goes out to her family, friends, and loved ones. If you are in a domestic violence relationship, please get out. If someone is making threats on your life, please take them serious and act accordingly. I think a lot of times in cases like this, including my own personal experience with domestic violence, we underestimate what our abuser is actually capable of. Even though the person is showing all the signs of being stupid crazy, in our heads, we might be thinking, oh, he or she would never take it that far. But my loves, trust me, they absolutely will take it that far, especially when they know they're about to lose that control over you. Please overreact in situations like this. Do not underreact. Do whatever it takes to get away. As always, loves, stay safe and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future content.